Six indicted in connection with multi-million dollar scheme to bribe Amazon employees and contractors. This guys is exactly why you need to be really careful who you're working with and listening to in the Amazon FBA space in general, because there's some crazy people out there. So real quick guys, I'm gonna go over this video because I just want you guys to know what's out there so you guys don't get caught up in any craziness, any scams, anything that can get you in legal trouble um, because in our space there just unfortunately is a lot of bad actors, right? There's people who are not so honest, there's people who are just straight up doing illegal stuff like these people here. Um, and just quick disclaimer, right? This is, this is alleged, right? So this was released by the uh, United States Department of Justice on Friday, September 18th, 2020, right? So I guess this is still an ongoing investigation. So, I mean, I, I don't, my t intent in this video is not to just blast on the, the people who are in this report. It's really just to shed some light so you guys don't get caught up in something like this yourself. So these guys, what they're doing, they, they're consultants, right? So they're a group of people who helped people get their Amazon accounts unsuspended, um, helped with seller support issues and, you know, getting ungated and things like that. So apparently they paid more than $100,000 in bribes to secure an unfair competitive advantage worth more than 100 million. So I guess the Department of Justice calculated this. They have connected them back to $100,000 plus in bribes to Amazon employees in order to do things like get accounts unsuspended when they should have been suspended and stuff like that. And those accounts that got unsuspended unfairly um, went on to produce more than $100 million in sales. So that's how they got those numbers uh, based on what I read in here. Um, serious stuff, guys. So like they are, they are being charged with conspiracy to use communication facility in furtherance of commercial bribery, gain unauthorized access to a protected computer, punishable by five years in prison and up to $250,000 fine conspiracy to commit wire fraud and wire fraud, 20 years in prison, $250,000 fine. This is some serious stuff, right? And just so you guys have an idea of the kind of stuff that they were doing, um, we talked about this on reinstating suspended merchant accounts and suspended product listings. This is, this is where it gets like really crazy, right? So this is where it starts to get really unethical. Like if you're reinstating suspended accounts, you might say, so what? But this is why you have to be really careful who you're working with in the Amazon space, facilitating attacks against competitors, right? So like really, really crazy stuff. Like they were um, getting competitors accounts suspended, like competitors of their clients who were paying them money, um, using bribes to actually get stuff like that done, misappropriating Amazon's business information, um, circumventing Amazon's internal limits on 3P accounts, Right. But the big one is this one facilitating attacks against competitors, right? If someone is promising you this kind of stuff, guys, one, what they're doing might be super illegal, right? <laughs> so you don't want to be connected with a company like that. But if you're paying a company to do that to your competitors, what's stopping them from, you know, doing it to you as well, right? They have all your data. Uh, what's stopping them from extorting you? So in this article here, they're, they're talking about this exact same situation. They're actually talking about specific um, parts of this specific case where there was some extortion, right? So in this one here, Amazon alleged in the indictment that client one offered members of the conspiracy $35,000 in cash to wipe out victim one. Here's what they did. They stole information about victim one from Amazon. So they, they used some of this bribe, I guess, to get that information from an Amazon employee. They registered the URL globebrandlawgroup.com submitted a false IP complaint about victim one to Amazon from this fake registered URL globe. Um, and then Amazon suspended victim one's account, right? So they're, they're not just doing a little bit black hat stuff, like leaving bad reviews. They're, they're going and registering entire URLs and fake companies to go take down competitors, right? The, the intent here is pretty clearly, um, unethical. <laughs> so, right. And some other stuff they're doing buyer harassment, um, like they got the defendant's buyer's information and then harass the actual, the buyers, the people who left negative reviews, like it pretty crazy. So people who left one star reviews on their, on their clients, they go and like harassing these people to go change their one star reviews. <laughs> like this is crazy stuff. This is pretty crazy stuff. Again, guys, all alleged, right? I guess this is not uh, this is an indictment. This is not a, uh, you know, prosecuted case stealth accounts. Um, you know, many improper names. Apparently they had 
dozens of different aliases um, to conceal their association with all the different clients and stuff like that. Improper reimbursements, so taking advantage of Amazon's reimbursement system. Um, fake appeals, fraudulent wire transfers. Pretty crazy stuff, guys. Anyways, I just wanted to make this video just so you guys know what's out there and what to look out for. Right, so main takeaway is, you know, is someone promising something to you that is too good to be true? Are they saying, yes, I can get your account back. We guarantee you're going to get your account back, right? That kind of language you should be careful of. If someone is telling you, hey, yeah, I'm going to be honest. Like, we're going to try to get your account back, but this is kind of how it works. And they're setting proper expectations with you, then that's great. But if they're guaranteeing that your account's going to get back, you know, that's too good to be true, right? So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, hopefully you guys don't get caught up with something like this and hopefully you guys are not doing stuff like this too, because I mean, it would not be fun to receive an indictment from the U S department of justice because you're just doing some shady stuff. So go out there guys and continue to kick some ass.